Strange new updates are coming into Retro Bowl, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm auditioning as a newscaster. I'm breaking news to you guys because we got some leaked update news, which is gonna release on December 2nd, four days after I upload this video. It's like CNN, you know what I'm saying? Fox Retro Bowl. You feel what I'm saying? Let's get into it. First big change of the new update is a salary cap switch up. So something new that they added into NFL Retro Bowl 25 is if you start new save, let me delete the Jets. We don't even play with the Jets. I don't even know why I was playing with the Jets in the first place. Let's say you wanted to play at a different salary cap amount. A problem that people were complaining about was that they could only start at 150 mil salary cap. They just weren't nice with it. They just didn't know how to rally up CC, grind to get 100 CC to get salary cap. You know what I mean? These guys are kind of spoiled. But some people want to play with more players, I guess. So now you can change your salary cap amount to whatever the highest amount you have on your other saves. So for example here, my New England save, how much money do I have on my New England save? I know I played, I played like 13 years on this one. 200 mil. So 200 mil is the most that I have out of all my saves, which means that I can now adjust whatever new saves I have within that limit, all right? So the higher the limit you get in a different save, the higher the limit you can start with on all of your new saves, if that makes sense. Oh my God, CNN about to come get your boy. You know what I'm saying? The next update is that they are actually testing out new uniform combinations, all right? So let's take a look at the old uniform combinations to start right here. Bang, 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 bang. These are the old uniforms. You know what I'm saying? New England only has three. Pretty much there's a bit of a problem with this one on my game right now, where even if I start a new save, it ain't gonna show me the new color combinations. They're literally in the middle of fixing this right now. But when you guys get the game, it should look something like this. If we head off the exhibition game right here, yeah, we can change up the uniform combinations. You feel me? There, there's new numbers now. I don't know why it started at two. I guess that's home and away right here. But there you go, man. There's new uniform combinations. Combinations. I also added a DB that's roster. All right. I don't know who this DB is, but we're going to find him right now. All right. We're going to search for him as we speak live on air. This is breaking news. Locked in. I'm breaking news. I'm treating this like it's going to be a new segment on the channel, all right, where I break new updates for you guys. This is important to my career, all right? To, now, to find this player, we're going to go to defensive backs, and we're going to go name by name. Let's find him, all right? I don't know why they didn't just tell me who this new defensive back is, but you know what? It's all good. It, it, it makes me better. Oh, here we go. There it is. I found him. Isaiah Simmons is not in the new game. That's breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. That's not, that's top notch news casting. All right, so they added Isaiah Simmons. He's a DB. He's kind of a bum. I guess he finally signed off the deal to be on this game. Maybe he plays. Maybe he watches. Shout out Mr. Simmons. If you're watching, you're not a bum. All right. Next one. They fix players not having accurate positions. All right. They changed 11 linebackers to D-line and one D-lineman to linebacker. Now, hold on. I swear they had Christian Wilkins as a DB. Did they fix that? Okay, I think they fixed that. Because you used to be able to play with Chris. Yeah, okay, he's a D-lineman. You used to be able to play with him as a DB, which was hilarious. Find 11 players too. Let's do it. First player, Cox Jr. Here he is on the old game. Here he is on the new game. Shout out to Retro Wolf for making that fix. Second player, Ignabare. Old card, new card. Third player, Rashawn Gary. They move Rashawn Gary to D-line. I mean, that is the position that he plays. They change Yeter Gross Matos to a D-lineman. All right. He sucks. He's absolute ass in real life. I don't know why they like made that switch. I don't know why. Are they watching him? Josh Allen. There he is on the old game. He's now a D-lineman. He's actually got an upgrade. Increased his strength and tackling on the new game. Decreased his speed. Interesting. Wonder what they're watching. The virtual developers noticed a decrease in speed for Josh Allen. Interesting. All right. He was my defense player of the year candidate before the season started, but we don't need to talk about that. All right. Let's keep it moving. Daniel Hunter. He used to be a linebacker. He's now a D-lineman. Let's see if his stats have changed. Oh, yeah. They saw an increase. Strength. They like the film, you know what I'm saying? The tackling is still the same. His speed has gone up, I think, and his stamina has stayed the same. All right, he's, he just got better. And they adjusted his contract, too. Wow. Really paying attention to the details here. They reduced their years by two, and they increased his contract amount by $2 million. Next person is Preston Smith. Oh, this is our first downgrade. They've adjusted his contract. They reduced it by a year, all right? They reduced it by a million. Damn, they're doing my boy Preston dirty on this game. Increased his tackling by a bunch. Decreased his strength. He's gotten slower, too. Is there somebody scouting? for this game. Like, do you guys think New Star Games sends somebody to, like, the Packers game to watch him throttle the Niners? You know what I mean? Debo Samuel, ball right through his hands. Holding on Sauber on the kick return. Like, do you think somebody from New Star Games watch all of that come down? Because no way they watched the game on the weekend. They were like, you know what? Let's reduce Preston Smith's speed. He looks weaker. You know what I mean? How you gonna move the D-line and make him weak? Next up, we have Taylor. This is the one that makes me believe there's no way they're watching Phil. A one and a half star, Daryl Taylor for the Bears. They made him a D-lineman. Nah, Daryl Taylor must have complained himself. I'm sorry. There's no way Retrable saw this and was like, you know what? Let's jack up his tackling. No, no, no. Daryl Taylor. He filed a complaint on Twitter or something, man. Can we check Daryl Taylor's Twitter? Because how do they know to increase this guy's stats? They gave him four extra million dollars. 
Who does that? He's worth a second round pick. Now, look at his tackling and strength increases. Oh, my goodness. This is the Daryl Taylor update, man. They did Daryl Taylor nice. Same with this guy, Thomas. 11 mil, two years on the old game. Now, he's 12 mil, one year. Switch it around. Next up, we have Van Ness. All right, they reduced him by half a star, too. This is very interesting. Oh, my God. His stats took a hit. My goodness. It ain't even close. He's unusable now. I mean, if you were using Lucas Van Ness, yeah, don't use him anymore. And the last one was Trayvon Walker. He used to be a two and a half star linebacker. Now he's a three star D lineman. So he actually got a nice little upgrade here. He's $4 million more expensive now. So there you guys go. Those are the 11 players that went from linebacker to D line. But we break all news. All right. They also changed a D lineman into a linebacker. Dallas Turner, the rookie. He used to be a D lineman here. Two star rating, three and a half star potential. He's now a two and a half star, but still three and a half star potential. Salary's gone up years on his deal has gone up too his stats look identical i don't even know what changed did anything change nothing changed yeah none of the stats have changed but his rating went up by half star so his dick got bigger next update is misalignment on player initials yes, i don't even know what this is all right week one we're playing the saints this is on the old game let's see what happens when i audible all right this is the first time i think i'm using the panthers on this game let me throw one dime with bryce yell one dime one quick dime one quick dime yep all right so let's see leggett is up there if i press change play what happens why? Like everything's the same. No misalignment. Was there a misalignment? I don't know. Hold on. All right. Now let me try the new game. This is the new game right here. Change play. We have the same. I mean, we have the same players. I don't see what the issue is here. Maybe it has something to do with the defense here. I don't know. But it used to be misaligned. Now it's aligned. There's one final update here that I want to talk about, but I can't talk about. I was specifically instructed to not talk about this update. So I can't say too much. But all I'm gonna say is, when you get your new game, finish the season. Okay? That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna show you guys anything. I have it on my phone. I can't show you guys. I can't tell you what it is. But I'm giving you guys a clue because I love you guys. All right. Now, this last little segment here I want to close out the video with. I want to talk about some possible predictions for updates in the future. What I want to see from the game. What I think will happen. What I think can happen. You know what I mean? Throw some out there. Let me know what yours is in the comments down below. The first thing I want to talk about is mid-game lineup changes. Like, imagine I'm mid-game right now, right? I'm diming it up. Leggett. What a reception. 10 yards. And then I can pause the game. Bench like get. He didn't take it to the house. Get him out of here. Get him out of the stadium. Put him in the doghouse. You know what I mean? That could be an option. Also, another thing is to be able to check stats during the game. See, we already have these tabs where you can click on the players and stuff. I feel like you should be able to check their stats of what they have so far. What if we need to break a record? You know what I mean? What if we need to break the QB passing yard record? I want to check how many yards Bryce Young has. You know what I mean? Stuff like that would be cool. Also, you can bench the player from this screen right here. I think that would all be sick. Also, another thing I noticed is there's never been a nighttime game. Have you guys noticed that? I mean, is this nighttime? What was that throw? Is this look closed roof maybe? I don't know, but I feel like if there were like a nighttime game with like brighter lights or something in the stadium, I don't I don't know what that would be. Maybe some like flashing cameras in the crowd. I don't know. Something to indicate that it's Sunday night football. You know what I mean? Thursday night football. Kirk Herb Street and Al Michaels on the call. You know what I mean? Something to indicate that. That would also be cool. A couple more out there. You know what I mean? A transfer portal on RBC would be cool. I would love to see a transfer portal on this game. It's not because I want to recruit players from the portal. It's because I want to send my players to the portal. You know what I mean? There's a difference uh punt returns we already have kick returns you know what i mean so they maybe slide a punt return in there you know what i mean that'd be kind of cool last but not least maybe something more gameplay related we already have you know what i mean juice we already have hurdles maybe the possibility to truck a player now i don't know what they would do for this because you know if you swipe forward it's it's dive you swipe back they do that lamar jackson when he was in high school thing and if you swipe up and swipe down you know what i mean they're juking up and down so i don't know how they would do trucking but to do a truck would be pretty sick on top of doing a stiff arm and a hurdle all right so those those are my possible predictions for the future. Y'all let me know yours in the comments down below. Let me know if you guys like the shorter style video where I just show you guys some updates coming to the game, man. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. I'm out!